Eiffel. London. Eiffel. My name's Coogan Cassius, this is iFilm London. We're at York Hall here for the fight between Rob Norton and Leon Williams. With me I've got Tox Owa. Tox, you're fighting on the 18th of November against Tony Conquest. You, you were out of the ring for a long period of time, um, and then you come back and you've had three fights since then. Could you tell us a little bit about why you was out of the ring? Uh, like I said, to call this uh, the story short, um, my mum passed away, and my dad passed away. So I have to go and see to that situation, you know what I mean, lay them to rest, then uh, clear my head. And uh, that took me four to five years, you know, to do that. And uh, now I'm fitting well, you know what I mean, I'm, I'm back in boxing now. What made you decide to come back into the ring after about a five or six year uh, gap? Uh, because I'd, I love boxing, you know what I mean? If it wasn't because of my mum's situation and my dad's situation, I would still, I'd probably be a world champion by now. Because we were on the way training towards a fight, towards a comeback fight before my mom and dad, my dad passed away. So that kind of like pushed all my plans back. You know I mean, um, now that I'm back in boxing, you know what I mean? And, um, it's like an unfinished business to me, you know what I mean? It's something that I start a long time ago when I was 14 years old. And uh, I dreamt, I'm not bullshitting you, I dreamt that I was wearing a green belt, maybe a blue belt, something like WBC. And, um, I know I've got that in me, you know what I mean? And to me, like I said, it's unfinished business. I need to finish it, you know what I mean? I need to find out what I can do, you know what I mean? This is the second chance for me. You know, like I said, Ali, John, good people are behind me now, you know what I mean? All I do for myself, before I used to like sell tickets and chase this around and chase that around and not concentrating on my training and not training enough. But now all I'm doing now is just I live in the gym. I sleep in the gym. I train nearly six, seven days a week. You know what I mean? So there's no excuse for me this time. This is a sec second chance for me now. The board gave that to me, and I thank the British Boxing Board of Control for giving me that. I thank Ali, John, and uh, there's nothing stopping me now. You know, this is not just talking. There's nothing's going to stop me now. I mean, you're fighting for the vacant Southern Area title against Tony Conquest. What do you know about Tony Conquest? What sort of challenge do you think he will provide for you on the 18th of November? Well, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? I don't know how you take it. I've been in boxing for, you know, my amateur years and my professional years going to over 20 years. You know what I mean? Tony Conquest is about 20 years old. And you know, I've been boxing before he was born. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I don't look my age. You know what I mean? And for what I know about Tony Kong, the guy is only at seven fights. The guy is in an amateur. I'm not putting him down, you know what I mean? I Everyone's got to start somewhere, surely. I respect Talks. any man, I respect any man to step in that ring. You know what I mean? To say they want to like, you want to box, you know what I mean? He's different in there. But Tony Conquest, I don't know much about Tony Conquest. All I know is at seven fights. And uh, I salute him. You know, anybody that take me on, I salute them. Because they know. People, they, people in this game know, talk, oh, you know what I mean? It's not going to be an easy day. You know what I mean? I fight. This is not my class. And I'm not boasting. You know what I mean? People that know me, you can see my record. I've had 26, 25 fights. And I've had about 14 to 15 KOs. And I've won 20. The people that I lost to are on a top level. I lost to Glenn Cove Johnson. You can go and check him. I lost to Omar Shika. You go and check him out. Do you understand? Most of the people that I lost to, I lost because of the weight condition. I was trying to make weight. I was doing 12 stone for 15 to 20 years. That's very hard to be the same weight for 20 years. You know what I mean? It's, you know, highly impossible. But I'm back now. I'm back now. Oh, I'm led to believe that there's a possibility that the fight um, between you and Tony Conquest, the winner of that, could go on to face the fighter of Rob Norton and Leon Williams. What do you think about that? Uh, it's not about it. It's a possibility. It's something that's already been said in, you know what I mean, from the British Boxing Board of Control. Yeah. I win that, I move on to fight the winner of tonight. That is it. Um, with me and Conquest, you know, he just has to bring his game, I bring my game. You know I mean? I've been in there 26 times, 25 times. He's been here seven times. You know what I mean? I respect him. I'm not taking nothing away from him. But like I said before, this is not my class. You know what I mean? This is not my category. And for me to say that to you, 
You know what I mean? My category, my class is world class. You know what I mean? But for me to get back to where I used to be, I need to go through every one of these people. You know what I mean? And I'm willing to do that. You know what I mean? I don't mind. I do it. It's my job. All right, Sox, sir. Thank you very much for talking to I from London. It's an absolute pleasure to speak to you, sir. Nice talking to you. And uh, we'll look forward to your fight on the 18th of November against Tony Conquest. Something special. You will definitely see something special. You know what I mean, Sally? This is Kogan Cassius with Tok Sawa for iFilm London here at York Hall. Thank you very much. This is the Viper Owo. Tox Owo. You're watching iFilm London. iFilm London. 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 I feel London, London.